Mr. Pomerantz, you described that consideration of using state RICO charges essentially sure. against Trump. But then you say, quote, the task of building out the proof on the whole pattern of enterprise corruption was simply too ambitious for the human and investigative bandwidth we had. In other, case, in other words, you think you had the substance of a case there, but it was basically too hard to do, given the research, re resources of the DA's office. Is that fair? It, it is fair. One of the things that people need to remember is that the district attorney for New York County is a local prosecutor's office. This is not the kind of special counsel operation housed in the Department of Justice, which uh, hires and uh, has a staff of dozens of lawyers and investigators working on a single mission. Uh, we had a small staff of lawyers, many of them with other responsibilities. Uh, we had to work within the jurisdictional and procedural limitations imposed by New York law, which are substantial, as if, for instance, if we want to speak, as we did, to a witness who lives in Ohio, in a federal case, FBI agents go serve a subpoena and there's nationwide service of process. If we want to speak to a witness who lives in Ohio, we have to go through an elaborate legal procedure involving the Ohio authorities to see if that person can be compelled to speak to us. So for a whole variety of reasons having to do with the substantive law of New York, the procedural law of New York, the resources that we had, uh, it became clear over time that an enterprise corruption case was simply biting off more than we could chew. Mm. There came a point when both Kerry Dunn and I spoke with Cy Vance, the district attorney, about enlarging the team and adding resources to it and giving us more bandwidth. But again, we were coming up on the end of Cy Vance's term. Uh, we wanted to hire some senior people with extensive prosecutive experience. Uh, we didn't think it was fair to the incoming district attorney to start hiring senior people at the very end of Cy Vance's term. And in any event, uh, we ultimately decided that largely for practical reasons, an enterprise corruption case was simply more than we could accomplish within a reasonable time, bearing in mind that we were trying to work quickly. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, bringing a racketeering case, uh, particularly one that incorporates other stuff, Trump Foundation, Trump University, the hush money, the financial statements, it's such a big ball of wax that ultimately we decided, you know what, let's focus on a smaller, more contained set of charges. And that's when we uh, started to focus on the financial statements.